So now I'm going to show you a simple version of adding a sensor to a Codasys PLC right from scratch. So we start up 3.5 service patch 7, patch 2. Select new project, CEC, and for the sake of Okay, so I've selected a directory, I've given it a name, I'm selecting CCC, hit OK. Wait for the PLC, add ILink master, structure text, 357 CCC LK, hit OK, creates a shell. Double click on the device, set a path. There's my PLC there, save, save the project. Uh, at this point, I should be able to right click, scan for devices, so the device is actually connected to the port number one. Select it, copy. Now, of course, the EDS or the, the IODD file has to be installed previously to recognize this properly. So save it, download, yes. Put it in a run mode, F5, in a run mode now. Come into here. Read objects. It reads the objects. If I change the objects, let's change the. Uh, I'll change this eighty-eight here to a. I don't know. Ninety-two point one. There you go. Ninety-two point one. So this is working. Go to the iolink mapping. This here is the engineering unit. So 0 to 16.383 is the value. So this percent IW1 is where it's going to come in here. The, uh, the document on the FESTA website. Um, let's just talk about that for a second because that's really important. Okay, so start up your browser and uh, go to the FESTA website. Go to supports downloads at the top here. Type in your part number or just simply this SPAU, SPAU. Click on it. Go to the expert knowledge tab. And Festo offers this, uh, this application note. And if you were to download this, it looks like this. So I've already downloaded it. I'm just gonna close this now, which is this book. I've modified it a little bit just for my own taste. And within this book, it just describes all the parameters, scaling, so on and so forth. So one of the, one of the main things to consider here is that uh, you have your, uh, your data here. Okay, the, uh, the data is measured like this. And there will be a switch type and so on and so forth. So there's conversion factors. So the raw data. So in the project here, not this project, um, this one right here. So this 0 through 16383 uh, needs to be multiplied by, in my case, because I'm using 0 to 10 PSI, and that's the switch I have here. You just, you know, correlate here. I would have to multiply that number by this value, the scaling factor, to get the correct pressure or PSI from the device. Um, okay, so what I've done is I'm, I have a pressure on there right now of 4.7 PSI. And as you see here, you're not getting any data. So I don't have any code acting on this right now. So the way CODIS works is unless it's in the scan 
of code, then it doesn't really update values. So I'm just going to quickly go offline here, go back to my device. Where is it here? PLC settings update. Yeah, I'll, I like to have that while well, it's in stop mode and enabled always in the bus cycle. That should do it. This one over here, use parent bus. So it, it does, it'll take that now. Save it, download it. Come on. Yes. You're back online and now you're getting a value. So I'm just gonna quickly add some scaling here um, just to show you. Well, give me one second here. Okay, so what I quickly did was I added a couple of variables here. I mapped the raw data to that variable over here, IW1. The uh, Put the scaling factor in for my switch, and this will be the result. So I'm just going to download this now. And put it in run mode. Right now I've got zero PSI and I've got 6.1 PSI in my LED display. So there's my six point, well, it has two decimal places in the code, which is better than what the display has. Um, throw that down here. So that we always get even more values. So, and there we have it, we're getting data. Um, if you want to make one more simple thing, typically you don't want to look at the data unless you know that the switch is connected. So if I was to physically connect or disconnect the switch, you'll see, hey, got the yellow or orange triangle, um, but yet I, because I had no, you know, fault reaction or anything like that in the code, I get the last value, which was 0.938. So. What you do there is there is a uh, a library and uh, I'll link actually Festo. Let's, let's see here motion. So C E C C. There it is. So you have this library here. You bring this in, and there is a uh, it's a quick little function block in there. And uh, what you can do is uh, add a add a P O U. Let's just go C F C. I'm going to quickly add this. Okay, so what I did was I added some global variables here. And these are referencing the port mode, which is in that library. Same thing with the get mode. And I've added this routine here where I get port 1, 2, 3, uh, or 0, 1, 2, 3. I get the device connected status, which is what that does. There's a little bit of explanation here. And uh, now I have to go to the task, add a call. Okay. Let's do the task now. And now I need to actually um, All right, so now I have this device connected. So save, rebuild. Log in. Okay. F5. Okay, so now as you see here, the device connected is false. Therefore, you're not getting any data. If I connect it, now I'm getting your real data. So in fact, you could you could probably go a little bit further by by you know setting this value to zero when there's you know do an else or something like that. So there's the simplified version of connecting a sensor. Um, one other point, I did the scan here to add this device is, you know, just right click, say plug device, and you can select whatever you want from your devices here. Um, 
So you could add whatever IO-Link devices are available in your arsenal, okay? And you would just say, you know, plug device, and it simply adds it the way you go. Um, I'm just going to delete that. The other thing to consider is the fact that you haven't installed any devices. So device repository, um, you've got this device repository. You say install. You come down here. You would say, where's the IODD files? And then you go find your IODD files. For example, this one here. And you say open. And if it's already installed, it'll say, hey, it's been installed or it's not, or it's already there. Close, done, done deal. Have a great day. 10 minutes to get one sensor up and running. The simplified way. There is another video on this YouTube channel that explains all other details about the library that are more common things for you to deal with.